Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2022, slot 1 DILR, says that the management of a university hockey team was evaluating performance of four women players, Amla, Bimla, Harita and Sarita, for their possible selection in the university team. For this purpose, they were looking at the number of goals scored by them in the past eight matches. The matches are numbered 1 through 8. The four players together had scored a total of 12 goals in these matches. In the eight matches, each of them had scored at least one goal and no two players had scored the same total number of goals. The following facts are given about the goals scored by these four players only. So the facts are about only these four players. We are not counting the rest of the players of the teams. All the questions refer to only the goals scored by these four players. Now, uh, we have eight matches and four players. So, we shall make a table like this. In each of the games, game one, two, three, four, and so on, we need to find the total number of goals scored by each of these players. The grand total is 12 goals. Only one goal was scored in every even numbered match. So, all these even numbered matches will have one goal scored. Harita scored more goals than Bimla. So, total of Harita is greater than that of Bimla. The highest goal scorer scored goals in exactly three matches, including match one and match four and match eight. Okay, so that highest goal scorer will score goals in these matches. Now, in match four and match eight, only one goal is scored. So, the player will score one goals in both these matches and some more goals in another match. Bimla scored a goal in match 1 and one each in three other consecutive matches. So, this means Bimla scored a total of four goals. So, Bimla has a total of four goals, one in match 1 and three other consecutive matches. Now, Bimla has a total score of four. Now, from this, we also get that Harita scored more goals than Bimla. Now, Harita should have at least 5 goals or more than that. Suppose we put 5, then we have to put a total of 3 goals for the other 2 people, right? So, it could be 1, 2 or 2, comma 1. Suppose we take Harita more than 5. Suppose we take Harita as 6. So, we are done with 10 goals. We need just 2 goals and it would be 1 and 1. We are given that no 2 players had scored the same total number of goals. So, the only possible total for Harita is 5. Now, we will come to the third point which says the highest goal scorer that is Harita scored goals in 3 matches including match 4 and match 8. So, in match 4 she scored a goal and match 8 also she scored a goal. So, that means no other person will score goals in these matches. Now, uh, <coughs> Bimla has to score goals in three other matches, three consecutive matches. Now, how, what are the consecutive matches in which Bimla can score goals apart from game one and three other, okay? So, the only consecutive matches where Bimla can score is these three, five, six and seven. So, one, one goal each. So, Bimla is done. Harita we need to find out. So, no one else will score goal in this match. Next, we are given a couple of statements about the number of goals in certain matches. It says an equal number of goals were scored in match 3 and match 7, which was different from the number of goals scored in either match 1 or match 5. So, 3 and 7, let us say the number of goals scored is A each and it is different from 1 or 5. So, it is, let us say B and C are given here. The match in which the highest number of goals were scored was unique and it was not match 5. Now, it is unique. G3 and G7 have the same number of goals. So, it cannot be G3, G7. These games already have only one goal scored. So, highest number of goals will obviously be in match 1. So, it has the highest number of goals. It is not match 5. It cannot be match 3 or 7 because it has to have unique number of goals. So, highest has to be match 1. Now, how do we find this highest number of goals in this match? Now, we know that match 3, 
and match 7 have equal number of goals. So we took the values as A and A and we have 1 as highest and we have game 5 also. Okay, so these are the 4 games left. Suppose we give 1-1 one, one to each of these matches, 2-2 two, two to each of these matches and 3-3 three, three to each of these matches. So they are equal, right? Now we are left with 6 goals for the remaining 2. Total has to be 8 because 12 goals, 4 are already allotted to even numbered matches. So we need to allot 6 and game 1 has to be unique highest. So it has to be 4-2, that is one possibility. If we assign 2-2, two, two, that means we will have 3 and 1 and if we assign 3, 3 we cannot have a possibility. Now another thing to consider here is we are given that the highest goal scorer that is Harita scored matches uh, goals in 3 matches including match 1 and match, match 4 and match 8 where she scored 1 and 1 goal. In one of the matches she has to score 3 goals. Now if we take this case, if Harita scores 3 goals here, the total becomes 4. So it means we cannot take this also. That is the only possible case. So Harita will score 3 goals in this match. It will satisfy condition number 3 that she has scored goals in 3 matches and will make the total number of goals in first match as 4. Third and seventh will be 1 each. And in the fifth match, we will have 2 goals. Now, Harita is also done. So, we have filled the number of goals for Bimla and Harita. Now, for the other two people, this 4 is done. One goal has to be scored in game 2. Who scores that goal? We do not know. Game 3, one goal, we do not know. Game 5, one more goal has to be scored. That we do not know. Game 7 is also filled. So, three values will come in these three places game 2, 3 and 5 and in one of the matches uh, like uh, one of them will have one goal and another will have two goals out of these two people. So which we cannot determine. So now let us look at the questions. How many goals were scored in match 7? So match 7 there was one goal scored. Which of the following is the correct sequence of goals scored in matches 1, 3, 5 and 7? So 1, 4 goals. Okay, 3 1 goals and 2 goals and 1 goal. So, 4 1 2 1. Which of the following statements is or are true? Amla and Sarita never scored goals in the same match. Now, we know that Amla and Sarita will not score in the same match because if they score in the same match, the total would become 2 or if they score here in the same match, it would become 3. So, this statement is true. Harita and Sarita never scored goals in the same match. Harita and Sarita. So, Harita is scoring goal in this match and this match and in this match. So, Harita can never score a goal with Sarita. Okay. So, that is also true. So, both these statements are true. Which of the following statements is or are false? In every match, at least one player scored a goal. That is true. We have to mark the statements that are false. No two players scored goals in the same number of matches. Now let us see that how many matches did they score goals in. So uh, B has scored goals in 4 matches. Harita has scored goal in 3 matches. Now we do not know how many matches uh, A and S scored goals in. But one of them scored in one of the matches and another person will score it two matches. So, all four players will score goals in uh, different number of matches. So, no two players scored goals in the same number of matches is also true because uh, uh, Bimla scored goals in four matches and Harita in three matches and the other players are scoring in one or two match. So, this is true. The second one is also true. So, we are asked which of the following statements is false. So, none of the statements is false. If Harita scored goals in one more match as compared to Sarita. So that means Sarita scored two goals because Harita has scored goals in three matches. So Sarita will score goal in two matches. Which of the following statements is necessarily true? 
Amla scored goals in consecutive matches. So this is false because Amla will score only one match, one score, uh, goal in that match. Sarita scored goals in consecutive matches. Now Sarita has scored two goals. That does not mean that she will score in consecutive matches. It is also possible that Sarita can score in this and this match or this and this match. So it is not necessarily true. So this is also we need to tell which of the following is necessarily true. So it is can't say this is false. So none of the statements is necessarily true. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.